Today, October the 20th, British Columbia is hosting Canada's largest earthquake drill. It's called the Great British Columbia Shakeout, and it will happen at exactly 1020. We are delighted that this year we have more than half a million people registered in British Columbia. And since last night, we've actually seen that number go up by 20,000 people. One of the things that's incredibly important is the team of experts that we have in place in British Columbia. They are exceptional at what they do. And one of the practices that they have in place uh, is that in the event of a catastrophic event in other parts of the world, we take the opportunity to learn from them about how to be better prepared in British Columbia. And unfortunately, we've had the opportunity to have those circumstances present themselves in other parts of the world uh, very recently. So we've just experienced an earthquake. We've dropped, covered, and held on, and we know that this is the best way to protect ourselves. So even if we do experience structural failures, like walls or parts of the roof falling in, you can protect yourself under a sturdy piece of furniture. And here, certainly in the legislature, being an older building, there are many pieces of, of incredibly strong furniture in this building. We all agree that drop, cover, and hold on is the most effective way to protect yourself. Even in buildings that have collapsed in other parts of the world, people have been rescued, have survived under sturdy furniture, furniture that has created a safe place. So once again, drop, cover, and hold is always your best option. So on behalf of Emergency Management British Columbia, we'd like to thank everyone for taking part in ShakeOut BC, the largest earthquake drill Canada has ever experienced, and for practicing the life-saving drop, cover, and hold on technique. We certainly hope we won't ever have to use this anytime soon. Thank you.